it's fire day. That's the best one. That's the best one. You got work You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you can unmute the mic. And you can just call them into the next map. All right. Just make sure they say ready in chat. Just, just ask the CPP LB ready. We have the brand new Blizzard being demonstrated tonight. In all its beautiful glory. Very interesting point. 
mess ones up, tag fires are dead. Thank <laughs> you. 
trying to get that mercy made it fast, you know?
you guys should put up like the uh, what they call the cinematics or again, yeah. or you can put up Overwatch League if you want. What? <laughs> oh, is it streamed? Yeah. Put up the cinematics then.
Rick. Five zero five four eight one. Five zero five four five eight. Five zero five four five eight. Okay, we're gonna do another one. I didn't even know. I don't know. I didn't even know they were doing this. Five zero five four six three. Rigged! 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 All right, guys. Don't forget that we still have three units in the back that we're going to give out at the end of the night. One of them is going to include a monitor. Oh. Oh. I'm going to be wrapping out this uh, universal basement on this game. It's a feature for the eSports and gaming. It's uh, going to work with the uh, many concept games and very few other models. It works with the TV. You didn't get the reference? Uh, good luck, guys. 505 440. 505. Four four zero. Five zero five four four zero. What are the tight game rules? What are the tight game rules? Okay, one last. We're in halftime here. We have the EGA CLC what is this, 240? Yeah, 240 radiator. Um, so this is uh, CPU cooler. Liquid cool. Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay, well, I agree last part of the round.
right? Get us all small. And the wind was to go with Red Team. Close space against two spam characters in Fair and Jump Rat. They just got melted, especially without any shields. Winston's shield can only do so much. I feel like with this comp, they needed to just run straight to the point. The going the long way just kills them. No switches coming out of Blue Team, so maybe they're going to try again. So this Blue Team soldier just duking for his life! And will it be 430 HP in a Oh my god. Oh god, god, god! Okay, blue team go resetting. Oh, tire! Lucia has 21%. Soldier and Lucia will be a deadly combination. actually happens. I don't feel like Lucia ult's gonna be that strong. There's just too much damage going out. Go through hotel, another enclosed space. I still don't agree with this plan. And blue team's already down their mercy and one up and Winston. Blue team needs to regroup if they want to do anything. It seems like they're going. Alright, I think they're doing I think blue team needs to switch to a diva. The spam is just killing them before they can even get to the point. Yeah, they need a perfect dive complex. No switches coming out, let's go. Um Blue Team do have three ults, so there is some hope, but yeah, they, they need someone to watch that Pharah. Oh, here's the Lucio ult. Aggressive Lucio ult into a Roadhog. Waiting for the but ult. there's the fair ult to up the back line. Mercy went down before the Valkyrie came down. And another attack to the Uh, This is still red team advantage. This is red team advantage, unfortunately. And But blue team still has Valkyrie from Mercy. And blue team... I mean, yeah, red team. Yeah. Junkrat's close to tire. If that tire can take out the Mercy, then Blue Team's got nothing. You guys take the count of Mercy Bow. I think Junkrat tire can watch out Mercy Bow. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's the main thing. And it's King's Row. He can just climb up along the walls. Winston Primal Rage trying to trying to just resist the Mercy. I don't think the team called up. Yeah, King's Row. Tire and Salty Shock falls all the bottom pretty well. Oh, we have Genji actually. Oh, yeah, Blue Team switched to a Genji who's already 50% Dragon Blade and he's dead. Yeah, that, that jump track picks pretty good. 
Yeah, the blue team finally switched to Diva to try to deal with the drop red, but then Diva feeds him back. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Both Mercies still have Valkyrie. Wow, alright. Uh, they have soldiers. I think the main advantage is that Red Team also has a high move, but it's kind of a pretty good chance of deleting the Valkyrie. Oh, it's a switch. I don't. Th uh, I think it's too late for that. He, he, Zenyatta would be better if Zenyatta or he already had his ult. But right now he's just food. Oh, they have 20 seconds but, to attack. Uh, Genji deletes all oh, oh. Genji soldier on the Yeah, there goes the Zenyatta. Zenyatta's dead. Dragon Blade, go for the Mercy, but Mercy's just too squirrely. Valkyrie is OP. Please nerf. Please, <laughs> please nerf. Five seconds left. Yeah, blue team's Valkyrie. Yep, nerf this. And it doesn't work. Zoning, I do. But it's okay. Diva's still sitting on point. Zenyatta, Zenyatta gets deleted by Diva. So now it's just Zenyatta. Zenyatta and Winston stalling as long as they can for a team to regroup. Don't see night, don't see night, don't see night, don't see night. Will they finally get it? Yeah. Blue teams team should at least. Actually, wait. Red team has a slight chance? Yeah, they have, they, they, they have to go now though. No, Red, yeah, Red Team's backing off. Red Team's backing off. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, this is Diva. Diva went in back. Oh wait. Okay, there are no ults in the field right now, so I guess we're going to go to the base. He's walking off the point when you want to go. <laughs> Alright, so we have Zenyatta ult coming up, so hopefully the Zenyatta pick is actually going to make a difference. Yeah, this, is where, this is where the spam comp really hurts in the streets phase of King's Rose. We also have Diva coming up with Genji. I guess you're just waiting for the Mercy Valkyrie to go in. Oh, Genji has sword. Genji will have that chance. I, the ideal situation right now is Genji goes in with the Transcendence. He, he needs a Transcendence, he's so weak! Oh. He wants it. Zenyatta is down too. Yeah. The main problem with Dragon Blade is that you need an escort of some way. Either someone goes in first to disrupt them, or, and or you, a healing ult either. Like, yeah, but it's like... Zenyatta it's a rough situation. Oh, there's the Valkyrie from Blue Team and Transcendence. I don't think they have damage for it. They can't kill Orisa and Diva. They really don't have damage. The ult coming up. Everyone's just chasing Red Team's Mercy, who, goes, who finally goes down. Let's we'll see if it makes a difference. It's a fairly even fight. No, but never mind. Blue Team is getting cleaned up slowly. What's happening? Get away, guard, Diva! Back up! You want me to be Diva? Bring it! Have some it's like someone's getting hit in here. Got some very competitive spirits before it's a team. So let's do this. Wait. No. Alright. If you can hear Fulton's comms, they are very animated right now, to say the least. But yeah, currently Red Team, still no significant changes except. Now, no, they swapped off the Junkrat to a Tracer, but the Fair Mercy combo is still very powerful right now. It's approaching slowly. We'll just be the chance of blue, blue team trying to contest for heaven. Tracer might get this pick on the on the soldier. But blue team's mercy went down, and this should just be clean up from now. Ready to start pushing, man. Three seconds. Um, I don't think what, that's a good use of Winston all. You, the best way to use Winston all is actually just to extend your time. You jump in, eat like 300, 400 damage, and then pop the ult for another 1000 HP. On top of bubble, lose like 600, I believe. Alright, watch this. I think a 2000 HP thing just slapping everyone around is very Evil comes down, fire still has no nope. High Noon takes out the Zenyatta who just died twice in a row. Let's see if Fire uses her old well. This might make it for later. Blue team can't maintain this push. At least not. Oh, yeah. It, was, it came down to the Victory. But he got ditched by his team. 
Another push. Oh, blue team is just fat fingered or trans on this, I guess. But here we go. Winston jumps in and. Myers goes off. But red team. But there's red team's Valkyrie. No, fair to go. Blue team, blue team. Oh, it's not. You do not have eyes. I do not have eyes. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going there. Yeah, the red team repels the. Probably will blue team's last push. I don't. Now it comes down to Mercy trying to tap it for an uh, extension, but nah, no, it's not happening. She's stalling and I think that would be the no. for Long uh, uh, Yep, there we go. It is. It is 2-3. I heard that pretty played up there. Booba, you need to chill the fuck out in Twitch chat. What the hell? <laughs> Hi, good day.
three one. Three, two, yes. yeah. one. Yeah. Guys, just a PSA. We don't know Blizzard World. This so, map came out what? Like, like four days? Three, four days? Two, three, eight, I don't play Overwatch, so I don't know. Tuesday. It came out Tuesday? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, is this Blizzard World? What's a Blizzard World anyway? It's a theme it's park, it's just Blizzard. You don't want to go there. It's like in I don't know, why do people go to BlizzCon? Like I don't know, people just have way too much money. It's not free. It's not free. It's not free. It's not free. Hell no, it's not free. Oh, there's a roller coaster. Okay, come on, read it out, boys. Okay, so on the red team, on forward turn, we have Mercy. Oh, and Zarya. Going on here. Yeah. Zarya, Widow, Moira, Roadhog, and Winston. And for the Long Beach, we have Clara, Lucio, Arisa, Mercy, Corbyorn, and Toblerone. And Roadhog. Oh, Toblerone. Toblerone. Really great team. Oh, uh, wait, no. Uh, Red Team has switched from their extra tank to a Genji. Interesting. Finally realized they need two tanks and three. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a weird semi dive pop. I'm assuming the Winston and Genji go in first. Zarya and Moira covering them, and the Widow just gets three shots. Yeah, just catching the back. Meanwhile, Blue Team is just more spam comp. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on in this map, so I'm just gonna babble like an idiot. We're gonna play around with the tour going in bad. And just put the reason field. Yeah. Look at that skin. Oh, it's the Lost Viking skin, if I'm right. Please give me. Is it not one of the new skins or not? I believe it is. Please donate pearls to expired sushi. Anything more? Anything more? Any artisan memories? No. I'm surprised one of you would pick. Every game I've played is the Every game we've seen right now. Actually, yeah. Okay, we're starting now. As you said, we don't know We don't know anything. <laughs> Yeah, I caught myself. We don't know anything about this map, so pardon us. We're pushing through some basement. They're going upstairs. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah, I think at this point, third person is the best thing so we can learn what the map is. But yeah, red team is happening. Difficult time going. Oh, sorry. What's happening? Sorry, it's building her shield. Yeah, that, the same barrel is dealing way too much damage. We really need to put a soldier on the floor to see. I guess we need some type of hits on the I'm noticing this, this fair is definitely doing some bigly damage. I think they fielded a Widowmaker just for the fire, but I don't think it's doing much. It's not really effective. Is the Widowmaker doing anything? Not really. Yeah, but what I'm seeing is. Okay. Mercy almost has her value, but Farah is old, so we're going to see if we're going to use it. Both are building up. We're going to expect a push soon, probably. Blue team with the, blue team with the Barrage, Valkyrie, and Bullhug. Red team, just Valkyrie, and whatever Mara's ult is called. I have no clue. I am laser. I don't know. I am cannon. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that, that's too much trouble. I'm gonna coalescence. I think that's what he's saying, right? Oh, nice. Alright, well, we have more. More is going down low by low. I'm gonna call the piss beam. And again, Fulton. Fulton loves going to enclosed spaces to get to far. There goes the barrage. And more of it's left. Sorry, that's down. And this should be a white. Wait, there's still some red team survivors just. We're just picking off the stragglers at this point. Red team has switched to their own Fair Mercy, so. You can't beat them, join them. Hopefully, the far up can perform as good as the long reach. Closure needs to group up if they want to do this. They're getting re damage. Okay, they're still going through that in full space. They love it. I don't know if it's just general map knowledge or what, but the red team just keeps getting mulched going through. There's a grab top, but there's no follow up! There's no follow up right Oh, there's the high move. 
But there's two reses, so it doesn't matter. Please nerf Mercy already. It's just, it's just skirmishes now. Red team just can't make a breakthrough. What? Going to stop blue. What will blue team? Um, what will red team need in order to break through the blue? That's the biggest thing. I'm not going through the same place twice. Okay. <laughs> but here's the problem. I don't know this map, so I don't know what's better. I mean, they could also trace you and try to like. They're gonna need the blue line. I, I don't think Tracer's gonna work because the, Tracer just doesn't do much against the red team, uh, the blue team comp. How about a deep? Warbeard Turret just can chip down the Tracer so yeah. easily, especially one that's not getting support. Uh, Winston's tickling people right now, but there's the coalescence. I don't know what it's called. I also don't know any of this stuff anymore. But there's the hook, saved by Zarya Bubble. Uh, there's the barrage. Fire is going out soon? Fire's down. Let's see if this great has great. Oh, yes, but it is. Let's go. Red Team's barrage takes out the last defenders. We might, we might actually get to see more of the map. It seems like Florida loves doing this. They always break through the last possible second. That's usually what happens when you throw six ults at a team. That is true. That is true. But you know what, it's not too big. Well, Blue Team doesn't have any more. Well, I mean, there's a timeline, so I'm going for it. And Grab it and Beam. And they also have Link Signal. Okay, so Blue Team, team up soon. Blue Team has switched to a Reinhardt. This? I haven't seen him yet. And they had a Widowmaker. God, oh, this is going to be interesting. I legit don't know this map. Yeah, tracer duel. Uh, but oh, red team tracer wins. wins. And probably gonna go look on the lookout. Oh, this is hard. Not, this far is amazing. Just there's not, not enough contesting this far up. She's just three shots. Oh, but here's the fair goal. Right one direct hit followed by a widow shot. I think this widow pick is really good on blue team. This will shut down any tanks I mean, this, this is what I'm generally seeing is happening. The tanks just occupy the ground, the pharaoh is distracting them from the air, and when they try to focus the tanks, the pharaoh takes the kills. They try to focus the pharaoh, the Widowmaker in back just destroys. Really good for um, essentially calling the streets face. Sorry, but, it's up. Yeah, red team's graviton. Oh, oh, good headshot taking out the Moira. They're gonna need something to block this Widow out. Maybe an Arisa or. They do have a Reinhardt, but wait, no. <laughs> but the red team will need a shield. They have Winston. Um, My statement still comes still There's not having a barrier is just punishing right now. This mid is going to work. Good job, Morley. We're thinking the same thing. Great minds need light. Oh, we have a switch of energy. 30 seconds left on red team offense. They have probably only one good push left, but they still have Graviton. I still do think they're gonna need a barrier. You know, yeah, but look at look at but those widows just there's getting free shots and there's nothing. Maybe you can win some E, but at the same time. No, they, it's just like blue team need to group up and go in together. Oh, Winston just Winston's go in. jumping in. He's probably trying to stall the point. It's not time for that yet. Uh, I mean, it's creating some chaos, so hopefully the rest of no, no, no one managed to touch the point. Never mind. All right, next round. So we'll see if it's just the map, or is it? Who do this pick? Well, on the blue team, where we have Farah, Widowmaker, Diva, Mercy, Doomfist, and Winston. On the red team, we're still waiting. Winston just changed. Okay. But Doomfist pick, that's really not pretty weird. I'm still waiting for that main pick, so if you, if you guys can hear me, please pick main. Control your thirst, boys. Excuse me? Oh, Alright. Up on the red team, we're still waiting. Yeah, 
Big soldier this time, so hopefully this will finally shut down Farah. What do you think, Sushi? Will this work? I think this Widowmaker make is going to carry this game. I don't know. Look, this first part seems like there's not the sidelines aren't as good. Also, what is going on? It's built on like the right heart ship, staying behind it. So once they get to that, main, on that statue, the main issue I see is without a Lucio, this might just be a very slow advance between the Farah. Yeah, the Pharaoh and Widower is going to take so many shots of that shield, that thing's going to go down fast. But if they're able to hold that choke point on the statue... I think the main thing is going to be, what is the blue team going to do with that Doomfist Winston? Because from what it looks like, yeah. yeah. The Doomfist Doom Winston are just going to create so much chaos. Pharaoh and Widower are just... Their team comes really nice. Yeah. But I think Zenyatta would do better. Let's see. Let's go. And Reinhardt's just getting bullied right now. Please no blue. Well, Reinhardt goes down, and if yep, we're going down one by one. Oh no, Doom is doing work. Oh my god. Mercy tried to rise, but died this side. You can carry me. I got other things to do. Well, ultimates are still building up, so red team has to push again. Well, no, they're defending. Oh, Aren't you already retired? I mean, so am I talking about myself. But, yeah, red team don't have a good spot. They can. They, how much? How far is that? 44 meters? Yeah, about 44 meters, 45. That's one, me, one and a half good kills. Good, good pushes, and that's over. Fire almost has scrolled, and Mercy has scrolled out. Meanwhile, red team, closest thing they got is high noon. High noon. Which, honestly, they might not even have time for. Oh, Winston diving in on the on Mercy and gets evaporated. But there's the Parage taking out everyone. Everyone's going down one by one, and there's a coalition. So I said it. You're so proud of yourself, aren't right? you? Yeah, red team defense wiped, blue team's pushed to win. This game goes to Long Beach.
slap, slap, clap, 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 slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, 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 Are you a, a real villain? Uh, well, uh, technically, uh, nah. Have you ever caught a good guy, like a, like a real superhero? Nah. Okay. Have you ever tried a disguise? Nah, nah. All right. I can see that I will have to teach you how to be villains. <laughs> Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you want to be a villain number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run.
next level games is. Woohoo! Next level games. Starting off with the uh, Pomona Powerhouses on offense and attacking. attacking on their offense. Ooh, Symmetra, that's spicy. <laughs> I want to see the Symmetra pickup right here. We got we got the triple support on offense with uh, the McCree, the one trick McCree. I like it. Uh, and then versus the, uh, the standard, pretty standard defense with uh, double tank, double DPS, and uh, hopefully double support. Now we gotta see how uh, the team known as Mona Powerhouses power with their way through this match. Uh, and uh, Benton is gonna wow. switch into the one outer placement. Majestic. If he actually does end up locking in Symmetra, it's gonna be really interesting to see how he deals with high ground because on attack, you're gonna be trying to take over the high ground from the team on defense. But Symmetra can't really do that unless she just walks all the way around up the staircase in the back. I mean, oh, there's a switch. Yeah, there was no way they was gonna go Symmetra. I mean, flanking Symmetra is the best Symmetra. Everyone knows that. That's true. You're right. <laughs> so we're starting off with the standard defense up top with Orissa and uh, the team standing behind the shield and the offense. Offensive team uh, trying to push in. Uh, defensive team is falling back to the choke point, waiting for. Uh, 
We have yet to see um, Diva or Winston dive their back line yet for team or dive blue team's back line. And then uh, Kekel just got picked off into a headshot, but got the right down. away. Now we're Here in we the go. team fight. Jump with red, the most skillful champion. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, we have Tracer in the background just trying to pick off Mercy. No help for the Mercy right now, just uh, trying to run around. This is causing the distraction in the back line. How long is he going to live for, though? He's like the last one alive in this team fight. Dip's getting picked off by the uh, skillful right or shift right click. Uh, very skillful. And then Alt, uh, defense offensive team, uh, attacking team is falling back right now, most likely. Oh, Diva D Mech. Let's see if they're going to stall her. Oh. Wait, no, they didn't kill her yet. Ooh, that's gonna waste a lot of time. If she has to walk all the way to the edge to commit suicide, that's gonna take a lot of time out of their push. Mercy on the defensive team is holding it, or uh, running back right now, waiting for uh, Ready to regroup. Same with Zarya walking in. Tracer being a nuisance, as always. We should see if this Tracer will be able to live and not be sucked around. And Tracer goes down. So now it's a 5v6 with the uh, offensive team being uh, pushed back. We have two ults. We have uh, both defensive ults on the uh, offensive team with Valkyrie just popped. We're waiting for to see if Valkyrie gets popped on the defensive team. No Valkyrie on the defensive team, which makes sense. Red team had a lot of picks. Or no, blue team picked off a lot of red teams. So. The defensive team Mercy just about, but gets taken out in the same process. So Valkyrie is lost. And uh, we have one support. Oh, Still is he going to use the grab? No, he's going to hold it. Smart. The team fight was basically lost. So, ults that fight, we saw five ults out of the, uh, the attacking team and four, and four outs out of the, the defending team. So, if blue team were to grab, if blue team Zarya were to grab, there isn't much to combo with right now. Tracer's bomb is still far away. McCree High Noon isn't the best with Zarya, high, uh, Zarya grab. So, let's see what they do with it. We have a the dive comp, or semi dive comp, with the McCree, because McCree is just the best for. Our Mr. Keckle sit be on offense. We're hoping uh, Tracer is in defense. Oh, clutch, clutch, pulse bomb, killing two, both tanks. It goes down to the Kree. The attacking team is still pushing forward with uh, Zarya just getting ready there. We have a Diva ult in the back, not picking up anyone. And then two people on the point. We have Tracer just coming in on defense with the. the oh, you get a pretty good grab here. Grab plus Tracer bomb is, is up. Oh, yes, he used bomb though. Oh, where did the grab go? Did it get eaten? I'm pretty sure the Graviton got eaten there. That's a, wow, that is unfortunate. Graviton is like. Bad man. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. For Team Blue right here. Zarya grab, especially being very, very hard to build. The uh, attacking team pushing their way forward with the Teresa Bomb being missed. I expect more out of this. Kind of that was way off. That wasn't even close to the stick. Not even, not even close. close. His. Ooh, Diva's out of mech. It's only 50% to her mech, so this next fight, if, if Team Blue decides to go in, they can win this easily. Diva out of mech is basically 5v6. If Tracer in the back line is uh, harassing the attacking team. Probably looking for a uh, to pick off the Mercy or Zen. Yeah. All teams are regrouped and wait, waiting to go. We have three ults on the uh, offensive team and uh, three ults on just got Valkyrie. Oh, poor positioning by Arisa caused her to get picked off. Let's see if Mercy decides to run that. Mercy really low on defensive team, almost 1 HP. Pops about oh, McCree gets stuck. Oh, oh he backed up into the Zen. And kills the Zen. That's big. We get a double res on the offensive team, which is really good. We're just waiting on uh, to see if the defending team can catch up. Oh, McCree oh. failed to connect the headshot after the flashback. Mine doesn't look like it's going to get it. Oh! Oh, 
Wow. Like three pumps ult in a desperation since he missed the combo. I believed in Kekel. I was let down. I feel sad. But Div is pulling his weight in the back. Killing off the they're killing off the Tracer or Diva. But Tracer gets a double stick or triple. Wow. Tracer gets a 4K. Including himself. <laughs> including himself. <laughs> Quite impressive. I, I enjoyed that. We have a one support ult on the oh. offensive team, but two people get taken down on defense. Now we're just waiting on the, the offensive, or the attacking team to probably regroup and to push their way in. They're looking at double ults, and the defending team is looking at a couple ults too. This is. Most likely just going to be below as many ultimates as possible to take over the point and push it then. Winston gets picked off, but gets raised, so... Zarya so has grab, because Zenyatta also on the enemy team has this trance up, so grab isn't going to do much here if he decides to use it. Winston in the back being a nuisance to the team, pushing everyone around, knocking someone down the below. Oh, not a very useful Winston ulti, just pushing people around. Yeah. Not the attacking team is pushing off everyone. Oh, here. Tracer tries to go in for the stall, does it work? Team Red takes it, first round. We got the Mono Powerhouse pushing our way through, powering it down the mid. With 1 minute and 16 seconds left on the timer. But don't they switch like that? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this overlay before. So we have a uh, young Moira on a defense. We're seeing how this is going to work out. We have uh, a normal uh, comp setup. We have the uh, Tracer and the Soldier main. Who knows? Tracer. Tracer is a pretty good staple pick in the meta right now. She's really good on everything, pretty much. Played it way too much, along with uh, Mercy, who's played even more. Team Red right now gets really, really hard countered by the Diva. Muir, Moira's uh, ball to get eaten up by the by the Diva E or no, by Diva right click, along with two hit scans. So Team Red has got to switch up his comp. But if if the blue team Diva can like make some stuff happen, because there's a lot of things that the Diva can eat right now. Now we get to see how the defense plays this out. They're Interesting out position for the red team. Usually you don't hold up there, you hold up to the back. That can overlook the entire street, but this only overlooks where they immediately come out of spawn room. Interesting to see what the strategy is here. It doesn't seem like anybody's dying, so the red team's strategy is... Seems to just be to annoy them so far. The red team has to back off due to the Reinhardt shield getting low. Which is uh, the one downside of Reinhardt right now. At this now. point, they should be going back to the choke because the payload is going through the choke. And it is incredibly hard to get past it if the red team decides to go and hold that choke. We have three picks on the defensive team uh, picking off the attackers. Four. And we. Oh, is it stick on the Winston? And we're down to uh, four on the defense and three on the offense a lot. Everyone's responding with the res on the Reinhardt to keep them in place. Now we're going to see how the uh, how Fullerton takes on the choke. This choke is a very nasty choke. Okay, Winston and Diva diving on the high ground, but nobody else is diving with them. We are going to get kills with two tanks. Genji has to dive with them and Tracer, but no, only two tanks. Ooh, right side with the. Shatter. Ooh, Take missed the pin, but pinned the Mercy behind! Taking out that Mercy is pretty important. And defense is uh, probably just gonna be uh, stalling this Tracer on oh, her back. Oh, the Tracer v Tracer battle. He's gonna win. 
Tracer right now needs to get out. He's just stalling himself. This is an extra about 10 seconds, 15 seconds of being up in the back. If his team can catch up, they can do something with this. No, he gets taken out. Doesn't even get a pick for it, so now the team has to wait for him to respawn if they want a full 66. It's about a 15 second delay on his part. Ooh, the offense grab. Ooh, grab gets right. two. Defensive grab. But more importantly, gets the mercy. Tracer on the defending Tracer team. only 60 now. HP has to. Wow, very ballsy with the recall. Does not use it, goes with the mega. The attacking team falls back to their spawn to regroup. And Tracer's still out. Hopefully, Tracer can get out. It successfully gets out. So, right now, blue team has four ultimates. This next push, if they all decide to use their ultimates, should be a win. So see how they use their ults to get an advantage this fight. The defending team's ult economy was pretty poor there, using the two ults for zero. At least they won that fight. The attacking team did lose both supports in this team fight right now. This is quite bad for them. Maybe they can get some picks and then uh, turn it around. The supports have respawned and are on their way back, but everyone is getting picked off. Team Red decides to hold on to a few ultis. Despite having all four ultis versus none, they still lose the team fight. And now they're back to three ults. Makes you wonder if they could just press Q all together, if they could just make something happen. Can he use the ult? Can he get the picks? He gets one pick. Gets, gets the Kree. Can he get two? Gets more he gets two. Um, we get the Mercy. Mercy is really, really weak. Oh, she gets bubbled. She gets saved. We, but we have lost four people on the defending team with only the Tracer alive near the point. Can Tracer stall long enough? And it does not look like it. The There's defending still... team may be able to make it back in time to contest. There's still a while for red team to push, so... Or blue team to push, so red team... Red team can get back and contest one more fight. They get a stick on the Reinhardt taking him down along with the Moira. Looks, looks like they are about to secure the point. And Mercy gets taken out along with it. They will take the first point unless some miracle happens. Which it does not look like will happen. Oh, Dim's trying his hardest though. They're still stalling on the defending team. And uh, there goes the point. So now they're probably going to fall back to the high ground to uh, set up their defense for this. Red Team has winning. not taken the high ground, so. Diva and Winston on blue team do not have a reason to jump up there. Uh, which is interesting because red team in this position usually wants to take high ground, especially with soldier. They, they just swap the soldier. They had to reach four. Oh, okay. So uh, right now soldier is working on a ball just due to the fact of switching, so they are a little ways off. But we have to wait and see how the, uh, the four alts versus three alts with two alts coming up play out in this fight. Well, this grab only be huge, and Yana's not as ulti on blue team. We get a grab on well, this Yana. We get a five-man grab with Mercy being stuck on the back of the cart. Oh, big, big Diva bomb. That Valk was a bit... Can they pick off the Mercy with the Valk? And they do. The Tracer versus Soldier in the background in the 1v1. It was a bit questionable on the blue team Mercy part. She pops Valk with about 50 HP left. But they end up winning the team fight with saving two ults. And the friendly team only has one. We shall see how the defense uses this Valk. Will they use it offensively or wait and push on right at the end? Are they just going to give up the point? No, they push it off. They need to go contest. We see the Valk come in right now to pick Rez up the Reinhardt. With the double res, that is a big game this way. Red team is demolishing blue team with no casualties so far. And Fullerton sees their push has stopped to the uh, big powerhouse known as Pomona. 35 seconds left on the clock, they only have one push left. But and they do have two ults working for them. Two ults to zero is clearly a win for blue team theoretically, but it's only if they play it well. Red team seems to have been outplaying them a lot, even when they are down at all. We have them pushing from the right side, which is an interesting strategy. 
can Winston knock people off the map on this board? Diva picks off the three is a big pick, still a 5v6. Nice grab on by, by the defending team. Pin on the ulted Winston did not do anything. We see it's a 5v5 right now, no for 5v4 with the two on the offense falling down. Can Mercy get a res off? And no. She is taken out by the Moira. Looks like all but GG by now. We do have 4v2, and that is GG with Mona Powerhouses being able to hold them on the second point. Well, now let's see what the play of the game was. I'm gonna guess it was the 4K. Oh, ooh, which one is this? Diva. Diva ball. Oh, this was the grab plus Diva bomb, right? Oh, no. oh Reinhardt! Oh, Reinhardt! Ooh. That, you do not want to see that as the Reinhardt. Kind of the play of the game for me. Now we're on to a Blizzard world. Are we going to see all the beloved characters of the past Blizzard games? Now we're gonna see if the Mona powerhouses can hold them off by the flight to Duskwood, sitting in the, the Overwatch or the uh, the the uh, Blizzard World. Pretty sure there's a uh, some uh, Diablo somewhere thrown in over there. Some people on the Overwatch subreddit have speculated that uh, Hero 27 clues are in this map. Posters indicate that um, Hero 27 is not very far. At least that's what people believe. Seems like map familiarity is not among the teams yet. Are they all gonna go up through the right side? Okay, they're gonna. They're not very. They're not. Red team is not getting contested at all. The choke. Blue team is just staying by the point. But well, Winston gets blown up. He jumps way too early. Diva cannot keep up. He just gets blown up. As a result. Can Diva get? Diva suit stays in time. They're pushing up from both sides here. Can the defensive team pull them together? Oh, Junkrat gets blown up by Deflect. Now it's the uh, time. Can the defense hold them with two down? Or, never mind, Junkrat gets res. We're into a uh, 3v6, uh, 3v6, 3v5. Whoa, they're getting kills. Blue team is actually 
actually coming back from this. Oh, yeah. the offensive team got Valkyrie and was able to double. Rodon right was there. flash banged out of his E, so he yeah. could not heal. Mona Powerhouse is able to power their way through and to pick off all the stragglers left. Now we have to take a look at the ults. We have three ults on the attacking team with none of the defensive team. This is going to be quite a hard challenge to hold this. But the Diva is pushing it pretty far with Mercy. If Mercy gets hooked here and dies, this could be bad. Oh, Mercy gets picked. Mercy's going to win this. Genji coming in, only getting two picks, but gets both the Mercy and the Junkrat. Winston is pushing around the Roadhog, maybe knocking him off the map. No, running away. Despite the early pick on Diva, Redding still, still manages to win the fight. Some hog champs in the chat. We're just gonna, <laughs> We're gonna see if the, the Roadhog on the defending team gets picked off with his ultimate. That's quite unfortunate, leading to... Uh, so if guys using Riptire, can you get the Mercy? Usually you want to aim for the Mercy with the, the Riptire, but no! Junkrat getting picked off in the background while he was ulting. Diva also ulting in midair and uh, not getting anyone. Fullerton popping multiple ults trying to hold them off, but they are down their Mercy ult, which is quite huge here. Genji going to the backline and picking people off. The defending team is quite close to this checkpoint, so they may be able to hold them off. Unless they get picked here. Genji jumping in deep into the drill. Wow, time. besides the sword with almost oh, no HP. Wow. Getting picked off. That was hype. That was a little too hype, dude. That was definitely that quick play mentality coming in right there. You can tell this guy is a uh, quick play streamer here. Uh, the resident streamer for the, uh, the club. Going to ham, trying to get a clip. Fighting in this tiny room. And when he's back up, can he do anything? No, gets hooked in the face and dies. But they are trapped into the spawn, even though uh, Red Team has gotten two points. They're holding them back in the uh, second spawn. Trapping them. While they're still pushing the cart. Zenyatta most likely going to be picked off, unless he can make some miracle play. Blue team has about all six ultimates against red team three. This should be near unwinnable for red team, but we'll see what they can do with it. We have Blue a team. triple kill with the road mod, and all five of them drop down. Can Only expending the... two ultimates. That was amazing. That was actually incredible for blue team. They might be able to hold the rest of the rest of the map. Third point is usually the hardest point, or the, the third segment is the hardest segment for red team for the offense team to push through. Kansen ult, ult's just a little bit late, losing two people. And Mercy goes down too. Damn. The white for uh, Pomona Powerhouse is wiping out the defense, pushing their way through, holding them at the last spawn. Oh, I can't help but think that was a miscall. Putting the demon ball right outside the front of the spawn. Team Red takes round one pretty easily in the third segment. That was very much a test. Now we're switching to a Pomona on defense with Fullerton on the attack. And Kekel trying to get Twitch chat to spam Craigism and Gashigism. <laughs> this is our resident shit poster and then on the team. Did's trying to promote his stream with the subscriber emotes. This is a very solid. Uh, it's a bold strategy. Oh, Dibs actually streams. Yes. <laughs> Who's Dibs? Who's Dibs? Who's this mysterious man? Dibs is the streamer. He's he's the our most popular streamer, dude. Wait, what about Caillou? Wait, wait. Caillou only gets like a hundred viewers. Dibs gets like two hundred, three hundred. Come on now. I think that we 
Okay, so now we're waiting on the uh, picks to finalize. We have 17 seconds left till uh, the offense makes their attack. Will the offense be able to break the impenetrable powerhouse known as Pomona? This is uh, the questions that need to be asked. And we do not know the answers to it. Ooh, an anapic. We have not seen an anapic so far in the series. The golden anapic. Both teams are actually running an anapic. This is like, quite, quite different than uh, what we've seen in the past. Wow, Team Blue is actually not running a Mercy, despite how strong she is. Right, that's right, that's right. Nerf has not come out yet. Not running a Mercy while attacking is going to be pretty difficult. We'll see if they can do the healing necessary to keep their tanks up. They pick off the defensive of Winston, which is quite bad. Will Mercy be able to get him to rest him? It does not look so. They're pushing up through the right side. Blue team is just getting picks left and right, so there's already a 4v5. Well, now it's a 4v. Uh, Team are getting stealth picks. Blue team take blue Anna taking out wow. both the Anna and the Diva Mech, only leaving the Tracer and the Winston alive. Looks like blue team's attack was successful and the red team's defense flopping, showing that they are not the powerhouses that we that we needed and deserved. Let's see if they decided to change up their comp for the for pushing the payload. It doesn't look like this, but Stick with Ana for this part, it's going to be weird because it's very easy for Red Team to dive on them because they have high ground advantage. We do have the Reaper coming in. The sneaky, sneaky. Uh, I don't even know what the skin is, but I don't see no clue. Just golden guns on a Reaper with a new skin. Biker skin, I believe. Is it a biker skin? Maybe. I just realized that the team is running four tanks. So the Reaper pick is actually incredibly smart. There's four tanks and double healers. Four, four tanks. Four tanks. Will the four tanks be able to take this? Roadhog took missing, leading to no pick, which would have helped them out greatly. Devolt coming in. Devolt's not going to do much against four okay. tanks. Take back one, one kill as much as you're going to ask for that. And a miss a sleep dart. See if he's going to use Ana Boost. We have two down on the offense. Will they decide to waste ultimates here besides the Moira? Looks like they just blew the Moira ult, just that's it. Waiting for the regroup because their spawns are faster and picking off one of the defense. They picked off two people on the defensive team. Creating oh, they can push in with Roadhog ulti and Ana ulti. Pomona falling back. Waiting for a response. Oh, oh no! Tragic Tech getting hit. hit. That's a feels bad man in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have to wait and see if the attacking team can hold this strong push going. Now boosting the road hog with the whole hog. Pushing everyone away, see if they can get the rest of the way through. Oh, so can you get the mercy? Oh! oh just missed the hook. Anna getting res in the back. Same with the jump press, picking off the Roadhog. I think finally Anna's managed to win a, a team fight. Now we're looking into two tank ults versus the tank ult and the eight offensive ults on the uh, defense. Will they be able to hold off this next push with two more ults coming on the way? We see the uh, the bug crawl its way through. Ooh, Blue Team trying something sneaky here, going through the left side, taking over high ground. Will they be able to push and take out the uh, defense? We see the uh, more ult coming through. Will he be able to save his teammates who just got purple? No, he is not able to save the Anna. But will the other five be able to push through? No, it looks like they are getting picked off one by one. The attacking team should just regroup right now and wait till uh, they have everyone back. They are slowly getting picked. Delayed. Roadhog getting a pick on the jump right in the back. Will he be able to get the mercy? He gets Ooh, the, he gets the mercy with, with the whole hog. Which is quite good. And will they be able to push and take advantage of this? They do get the Anna. With a sleep dart, or they get the Arista with a sleep dart. Will Arista fall here? Reaper ulting, but falling down. Reaper getting nobody with that ultimate. 
devolves, not doing anything, and just stalling them. But at this point, the attacking team has not been getting any yards on the payload. Oh, Jumper just being tons of energy to Zarya. Now the attacking team is getting people on the payload, pushing forward as we wait. With the new Pharah pickup on the oh. defending team, will the offensive team be able to do anything about this Pharah? Going Fair Mercy against four tanks is pretty smart considering none of the four tanks can deal with a flying hero. Now will the Anna be able to solo carry them and kill the Pharah in the background? Anna dropping quite low. Will he be able to live? We need to see ultimates out of the attacking team to be able to push this. We see the Moira all drop, but Still no kills Pharah. We see the Mercy and Farrah combo flying in the air, just Duke dropping loads of damage all over the uh, attacking team. Will the attacking team be able to stabilize? It, it looks like they have three picks to the uh, two on the defending team. Oh. And Farrah falls down. They should be able to get this payload quite close to the end. Oh! Four men live fire!
Okay, now we're into the Pomona versus Pomona game. This is a, the final game of the night, most likely. Let's go, uh, let's go Cal Poly here. Come on. I, I think Cal Poly can win this one. That's, a, that's, that's my hope. But the question is, is it a bunch of misfits, or is it the Cal Poly Overwatch team? We shall see. Don't discount the bunch of misfits, though. I mean, they do have the streamer. Keckle is a pretty good streamer. They have dibs, too. <laughs> we'll see if the colored hair will make a difference here. So we're looking at the standard comp for uh, blue team, but... Powerhouse, running with this Moira again. Will they be able to win it out? Throwing their orbs all over the place. Looks like they've got a pretty pretty good team comp here. We've got Keckle, as usual, staying with Marbury. the McCree, of course. I mean, you gotta have, gotta play easy here as if you're a CSGO player. It's kind of hard. But... Oh, they're going sneaky here. Both teams going up to the high ground. We'll, we'll see who wins this initial engagement. Both teams diving in. We have uh, the uh, fan club being able to hold them off with the Pharah pick. No pick so far, but lots of damage done. Oh, there goes Dibs. Gets picked off at the end there. Fan <laughs> club switching back to uh, main choke here. Fan club looking like they're going to be able to hold the off powerhouse super early in the match. We've got 2v1 point. Looks like they're going to take point right here. They do. They end up by taking point. Powerhouse may be able to take this back, but they did end up losing two players there. Winston goes down, but Winston. Farah is still in the air, dropping bombs on the powerhouse. And Diva getting booted to safety. Most likely to just jump off the map in a second. Or not. We have the diva lurking here, trying to build up her her mech back. We have the Lucio with Mercy right now. Will Lucio be able to keep everyone topped off on the ground? Mercy just with the fair. The blue is running a fair Mercy right here, farm Mercy. Almost gets Dibs again. Dibs able to back out. Winston getting picked off inside, and Dibs getting a double pick. On the defensive team right now. Will this be able to pull off the kill on the ferret? No, he gets taken out by one card. Can Keckle do something at one point to take out the team? Winston pops Zold on point. Oh no, Keckle's getting juggled in the corner. Will he be able to get out? Uh, oh, see. he's able to live. Moira coming to the rescue. Ferret coming uh, in, pops her two ults. And then ending up getting himself killed. Diva gets Diva. killed on that exchange. As does as does McCree. We have a brutal team fight, but we have fan club already at 77%. They just need to hold off to 90% and lose the point. And they come back in and wipe them for one team fight. We got a Winston v Winston fight right here. Winston with And the Winston wins the Winston fight. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> Diva gets the max, but takes out the Tracer. Can we see? One card's it, trying to hold point here. In that whole chaos, the red team was able to take over the point, which is what they need to do to hold off and uh, win this fight. Now, blue team needs to really, really push in. Most likely, only need to win one team fight. They need to hold off the one or two man push out. The team's in a pretty good spot here. Two ults. You got a Lucio ult, you got a Diva ult. Two ults versus one ult right now. And the Farah get a pick right now early. The Mercy getting caught out. Mercy, Mercy goes out. down. The Mercy goes down. And That's Warner huge for Red Team. Defense. They lost one of their supports. Fluffy's sitting low at health. She has her ult though. Can Fluffy save the day with the ult at 1 HP? Diva goes down. Yeah, just pops the old. Most likely we'll need Doesn't get anything. Looks like they're taking over the point uh, with Powerhouse coming back in. They have like four seconds to realistically get to the point right now. Can win to get to the point. No. It does not look like it. Looks like Blue Team holds off the Misfits. Powerhouse. And the triple kill. It doesn't mean anything at the end. Now we're all. 
left play and down one round. This is a competitive rule set, so you only need to win two rounds to take over the map. Nice diva hold there. Too bad it couldn't happen inside the game. Now what's the powerhouse we're gonna pull out this time to overcome the fan club? The fan club has a pretty strong uh, following. Uh, they're, they're quite quite good in the game, maybe if they play. But we have uh, we see the similar team comps for fan club and, and a different team comp for powerhouse. They're running two supports, two DPS, and a tank. It's pretty standard in this meta, but we do see the uh, the Arisa, which is a different pickup. Will the Arisa be able to drop the moving shield and uh, create a big enough barrier for his team? Mercy in the back being dove by the Winston. Mercy slow in health. Mercy goes down on the Misfits. The Diva and Tracer on the other side are also down. Mercy's down as well. It's now down to Lucio and Winston to hold. here. Red team is, oh, what a pick by Roadhog there. Holds on to the point. Red captures. That's a good start for Red. Quick capture. Looks like switching up to team comp helped a little bit there. With Red taking on at almost at 15%. Creating a uh, gap as the blue team tries to uh, slowly work their way in. Winston bubbled down with the Diva. We're on half defense of the nature, so just waiting. The whole blue team falls back, waiting to regroup. We now have a Genji on the blue team, push as they push in. We'll see if he can build up his ult fast enough to uh, take over the team. Kekko has been quietly building his ult. He has his ult up and ready now, as does Roadhog. Fluffy sitting low at health. Will Fluffy be able to get Jungle off? No, Fluffy makes it back on. Oh, uh, Fluffy, Fluffy gets hit. Gets now, but Kekko in the meantime gets a double dead eye. It dies in the process. So they're down two now. They have the Mercy res up and ready. They have the... Let's see here. Roadhog finally finishing off a Pharah. And Diva getting finished off by the Arisa. Another successful ult is up and ready. Three ults up ready to go for red. We also have three ults, and will have three ults on the blue team as they push in. Including that infamous Mercy Res and Valkyrie. We have double support ults on both teams with uh, one offensive ult on one team. But and blue, team ult on the other. blue needs to make a decision now. They need to make a hard push. They're losing this point quick. The last fight for blue, hopefully they will be able to take it off. And they see the Zenyatta uh, and the Mercy. Oh, what a play by the Farah oh, here. Blue uh, able to get the 5k. That's a huge play by blue there to take over the point. Knock off red. Now the real question is, will the CSGO player be able to carry the pink red team to victory here? No one knows. They have their three ults up and ready. They have the Roadhog, they have the Mercy, and they have the Zen. Those are three strong ults. That's a good push. Mr. CSGO taking five shots, only hitting one. That's, that seems typical. Overwatch is a little bit harder shooter than your CSGO is, so it's understandable. You've got to give him a break, give him a handicap. We see Soldiers pushing down. in on the red team with the Zen ult. But we did lose the Zen, or we lost the Soldier and the Genji, but Genji gets red. Still waiting on Mercy to pop the roll in here. There she goes, she pops the roll. Fluffy said low at home. Knocked out of the air with the Roadhog right click. Fantastic, boy, they have all six. Red is all six on the point. They're gonna take, they're gonna cap point. That might be game, folks. If they're able to hold it. Is this gonna be the round? Are we going to the third round? Look at that, what a play. Powerhouse, powering their way through that round. Changes up the team comp, it looks like it worked out in the end for them there.
Looks like blue team is going to go. Uh, let's see, they're changing changing stuff here. They're going to go with the Junkrat spam machine. They got an Arissa. They have a Lucio. They have a Mercy. A McCree. Roadhog. Red team doesn't really change up their team comp. Surprisingly, nobody went uh, fairy here. Fairy is a pretty good pick on this map. We're seeing both teams go to the uh, the bridge side. If, uh, if which team spam is better? But one team does have a junk right. That will most likely win the spam war. We got Roadhog going down here. I cheered for Blue, they lost a big... But they're capturing point anyways. Blue team down there, Lucio, which is also quite important. Oh, Ooh, Roadhog's like trying. Control. He's trying to pull somebody off the edge there. He's trying to be sneaky and just misses the hook. Blue ends up by capturing point anyways. Four, four people are down now for Red Team there. They need to regroup. They need to get their, uh, their act oh, together. No, both supports getting taken out after the fight's over. And now, and now bull bullying is going on by the blue team here. They're pushing the red team back. See how far up they hold them there. Looks like they're going to be holding half the... Dibs is trying to go behind. He's trying to be sneaky. Trying to distract blue. Maybe push him back a little bit. Help his teammates get out of the choke. Dibs doing a load of damage from the side. Will he be able to pick anyone off and create an opening for his team? Being really sneaky. He has his ult up, so he knows what he's doing here. We see the blue team pushing forward. Will they be able to do anything? We hear a soldier ult in the back. Dibs taking a, the big flank on them, taking out one card on McCree. But Kekel also dying in the process. First, he reses the McCree there. Oh no. Dibs falling down after his ult expires. One card gets two kills there. Mercy getting taken out by the other Mercy. Showing who is the better Mercy in this moment in time. Blue is really showing their dominance on this right here. They're not letting Red Team get established at all. They're just bullying them at this point. They won't even let them get to that choke point. Now we see five ults on the Blue Team versus the one ult on the Red Team. Will they be able to pull this? Red team push them out. It's oh, looking red team looking pretty grim for red team. They can't they can't build anything right now. Red team needs to make a push. They have eight seconds left. Seven. Junkrat pops his ult. Let's see what he does with it. He's just gonna hang out there. He's holding them. Uh, he gets the CS Go Pro Keck. Lucio pops his ult right on point. Oh, Helps out the teammate. Oh, Roadhog. Wow. Roadhog gets two. Them off the wow, it's not looking good for red. Uh, Blue will pretty much break it here. I see off go, not able to carry it in the end. What a game. Oh, I've just stolen from you, Let's go. Let's see this play of the game right here. Right at the end, folks. Let's see, we've got one, two, and wow, oh, no. just boops them right oh, off. Oh no, all the way off. Oh, wow. that's, that's mean. That's real mean. That's a good play. Plays like that, folks, help you win points, help you win games, win matches. Now we're on to the last map of the tournament. 37 yellows. <laughs> Now we're on to Blizzard World. The meme map, as some has called it. <laughs> it's quite eventful today. 
see. We have Keckle going as who else would he go out the hallway? Oh, oh. Let's see. Yeah, they go to the easy beer. Oh, that's right. He's gonna go spam burger with the uh Wow, he's gonna go chuck right here. Mr. Spam. Man, we, we have to we have to let him go. It's it's okay, he's a C skill player. What are, what are we gonna see out of the uh, the defending team here? Are we gonna see a Reinhardt? Are we gonna see a Winston? Are we gonna see a Rissa? What is it gonna be? Kekko has a lot of fans in the uh, the Twitch chat, so hopefully he can uh, reshape his game for this this match here and uh, change things up for his team. I wasn't really doing anything in the last game. <laughs> you, you gotta get the CSGO for up where he, he, he takes some time. Maybe maybe he'll be good at one day. One day. One day. <laughs> So a red team, we have a, a team comp consisting of a Reinhardt, we have a Lucio, we have a Mercy, a Farah, we have a Zarya, and we have a Vickery. Are we going to be able to see the, uh, the defending team hold them at the first choke? They also have a Reinhardt. Reinhardt is quite good at holding at choke points. This is going to be quite interesting to see where they hold, as other teams today have been holding way back on point rather than at the choke. And some teams have been holding at the choke. So as we see, we're seeing the offensive team push in with their team comp they've been running the fair mercy, which is quite good for them. And the warrior on the defending team was the Junkrat man. So far, both teams holding the choke. Nothing really has happened. Red team's making some progress, getting through the choke. They're really pushing towards point now. Reinhardt getting picked off, but Free and the Reinhardt getting picked off on the attack team. Same with the attack team just falling apart. Not a good. And Lighter who did shoot him out of the air. With Reinhardt getting rose right there, the attacking team does have about another 20 second window to push in and take over as they do not have a res. This is their best bet to take over this point right now. What they need to do is try to push up onto the high ground, take them out. Or at least oh, they're all stacked them. there. Winston jumping down at the perfect HP to live. Can, can they pick off the Mercy who is not on the high ground? That is the question. As Mercy is separated with the team sitting on the junk rat on point. We shall see. Oh, we've got two on point. We've got red team trying to cap point right now. Ooh. Dibs gets a two kill right there. He helps save point. Will the red team be able to push in as Mercy did die late in the fight? If they're able to push in fast enough, they can push in without no more Mercy. Reinhardt's sitting pretty low in health for defense right now. Blue team. Mercy needs to do some healing on that side. Heal up that Reinhardt. There we go. We see the blue team holding back on point. Mercy in the back getting jumped on. Warner popping her ult. Holding it, pushing everyone back. Without his ult, is can the Warner take out the Barret in the air? Oh my. Sorry, it pops their ult. See what happens to them. Nothing. Nothing. Just one. One kill from that ult. Diva pops her, her ult, gets fluffy. One Dibs goes down to the tracer. And then tracer getting a uh, BS into the gravity or into the earth shatter. Three people are down for blue team. It's not looking good for blue. Zarya went down as well. Looks like red's gonna cap this point right here. Good take by Red, using their ultimates after, right as they got grabbed to save themselves. Winston Barrier dropping right as the grab pops to protect the team and make it harder to kill the people in the grab. Now we get to see how the fan club decides they want to push this point. Are they going to dive them or are they going to just wait for the card to push as far as possible before they jump? Limbo pops this all, he's trying to be a bully, he's pushing blue around, he's trying to get them off the payload. Winston forcing out the soldier all but taking two people out in wow, the process. What a both, both DPS. 
trading one for two, which is quite good, and even more favorable due to the fact that it's a tank for two DPS. Both DPS respawning for the defense right now. Red just continues to move that payload. They have three, three or four people sitting on payload now. They're just moving it. Glider up top is just hanging out. He's just doing some damage from above. Oh, uh, Tracer getting kicked off at the front by the Junkrat. Quite unfortunate. Spam. The well, Zarya gets caught out here. But now she's able to get back to her team. And oh, Zarya drops her out into a Diva break play. Eating the ult. Mercy pops. Diva pops her ult. She gets a triple kill. Wow, and the two supports. That's huge. The Diva bomb. Wow, what a play there by Red Team. We may have just witnessed the play of the game right there as the Diva Bomb did take out the Mercy Ult, which is quite important. I stole your bike. He's been uh, he's been carrying his team. He might have back to back play of the games here. Jump right, jump right, jump right, jump right. Will the Diva? Oh no! Dibs goes down. We have a, a pair of oh, eating the whole of Ryan Mercyfield and killing him. Able to take the second point. Will they be able to push these guys in the old spawn and take them out? Mercy getting caught in this falling guard death. Not stall herself. And Zen getting picked off. They're just cruising along. Two supports down again for Blue Team. Blue Team needs to try and protect their supports here. Junkrat only gets one there. Unfortunate. Mercy Res is the Winston here on Red Team. Red Team just cruising right along. Reinhardt goes down again to that D.Va. That D.Va has been absolutely... Well, Diz is able to take out the Vera, and he does. He takes out both the Vera and the Winston that way. But they are still pushing the cart. This is still good for a fan club as they're pushing the cart, but one card gets taken out by the Zenzo. They should back out at this point as they are down two players, both DPS. And Rager. Now we get to see if the powerhouse is able to hold, hold off at this chip at the front. They have three ults up ready on defense. To the two ults on offense. Oh my! Wow. Great jump by Glider taking him did right at the ult. And then the grab is in the back. Will he take out anyone else here? What a play! It's a good play right there by Zarya. Fluffy gets a triple right here. Goes after the McCree right there. So Fluffy and the Zarya are both on fire. That's what you need for a team to hold. The only problem with that fight was blue team did blow two ults to red team zero. To better all the on the red team. Diva only has one. He does. Can Mercy get killed? Oh, here? they're getting they're getting picks now. Keckle's gone. Fluffy's gone. Dibs is gone. It's down Mercy down to the Ryan. Mercy's down. down too. It's not looking good for Blue Team here. Reinhardt taking out the Lucio in a charge, but he's gonna fall down in the process. Oh, uh, not looking good for Blue. Red Team pushing the cart. Getting close to the end. Only folks. about 20 meters away from the end. Switching to a Reaper. Trying to, to go kill the dive con. They have three meters left. They need to get on the point. And they can on. And that triple kill at the end. That's pretty much sums up the match there for Blue Team. They just couldn't get anything started. They were giving a good fight towards the end there. But in the end, it was not enough. We had a fan club ending with 34 seconds left. Quite good on this match. Now we get to see what the powerhouse wants to do for this one. Blue team needs to have a game of their life right here. So, for the defending team, it looks like they're going to go with a choke heavy de defense with the Reinhardt, and maybe even uh, throw in some spam in there, who knows. 
Pamadex. Yeah, we'll see. We also have maybe, maybe have us a, a CSGO player taking on our own very CSGO player. Who knows? Wow. The crew versus the crew. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully one card, uh, you know, can, can keep tabs on the other McCree on the other side. Yeah, maybe one card will have a place on the CSGO team after this. We'll have to talk to Mr. CSGO himself after. We'll have to see who's a, a better a better shooter. Is a lot riding on this game. We have Dibs on his legendary tracer, trying to carry the weight into the back line, get some picks. We're looking at a, uh, a dive comp with the Zenyatta Mercy. Zenyatta is a good pick by Fluffy. Fluffy baits uh, a lot of Zenyatta, so that's a very safe pick for Fluffy. Same thing with Ken S, with Mercy. Very safe pick. Oh very no, good. Diva missing the jumbo. <laughs> that's going to delay them a couple seconds. We didn't, we didn't see that, Diva. We didn't see that at all. But now we'll see. Are they going to... Oh, Tracer making his way to the back line. Forcing the whole red team to fall down. Quite the play on Diz. Distracting the whole team, but red team was able to get a pick there. See, that's the only stuff you learn by watching stream, folks. Yeah, you know, pick that stuff up. Make sure to subscribe to Diz. Uh, it's a D, I want it to be the Z. Diz. We, we see the red team picking off the stragglers as they run back. Are they going to reboot Kyron or are they going to stay point? We shall see. Red Team McCree already has his ult up and ready. His dead eye, he's waiting for the right time to use that. Is the Red Team McCree going to go to sneak around or is he going to just stay in the front? Oh no, the spam gets the Diva. But she gets insta res by the Mercy. Junkrat's trap. Fortunately enough to get someone there. The 200 IQ trap right there, trapping the Tracer Blink. Pretty solid trap. Now we will see. Will the blue team be able to overcome the spam from the hardest hero in the game? Junkrat also has his ult up ready, as does Mercy on red team, to the two on blue team. The two supports ults are up and ready to go, ready for that push. You could see a Valkyrie be Valkyrie. Oh no, the jump crack is stuck up top, but he takes out the Pharah. Here we go. Two Alts. picks for the uh, blue team, but one getting rezzed off right now. Ults are being popped. Will the second one get rezzed up? Oh, but blue loses two, loses three, There's the second rez. loses four. Wow. That was a great defense by the red team. Can blue team take a, take advantage as they have the close spawn to get the uh, the picks right now? Oh, what a pick by right Diz! Able to just get that junk rat peeking out. He's just gonna bully. We got got the McCree involved, but not able to connect with the Farah. What what's he gonna do as he takes three quarters of his HP and spam? Now we must see as the Farah. Goes around with or Reinhardt. Did pop the ball, but it does not. Only gets his Zarya there. Or he is set back to spawn. High noon by Keck. Keck gets the Junkrat there. Oh, uh, but the Mercy reses the Junkrat. And on the blue side, Mercy reses Dibs. Farah. He's still in the back of the team. Minute remaining. It's not looking too good for Blue Team. They can't get anything started. They got a couple ults up and ready. Their mercy's down though. Oh, getting picked out as trying to back. Three ults are ready for the defense. Junkrat, Zarya, and the McCree. It's not looking too good for the powerhouse of Blue Team. They need to get their act together. They need to start. They need to do something differently here. This is the last fight for Blue Team to take this point. Will they be able to do it? Questions we need to find out. We have the Graviton. How will the Graviton be played in this fight? Four ults are up and ready. Reinhardt charging into the back. And the grab hitting the Mercy. 
Oh, oh no. Junkrat, two. That's huge. That's pretty much game, folks. That's hard to come back. That's game in the end. And that is the game, boys. Let's see what play of the game is here. Stole your bike with Diva. The Diva Hall hitting the Mercy Valve as she tries to fly away. Hitting a three man, almost hitting a four man with the grind once, like a half second off the grass. That is the game, guys.